Okay, today we have got um, a client that would like to go lighter, more white. So there's some highlights in there already, but they're quite yellow. So we're going to try and lift them up a lot lighter so that we can get more of a white effect. So at least be lifted to a level 10. And I'm going to use bleach with 9% to try and lift it up that little bit more. All right, so I'm going to put 20 grams in of powder and then I'm going to put um, 40 grams in so if I go back to zero again so I'm going to put 40 grams in of peroxide and it's going to be 9% which is 30 volume. Right so I've just sectioned the hair we're going to put a few in the back but we're mainly going to concentrate around the front area putting a lot more around the front and it's just going to be general weaves there's not going to be a, a pattern itself it's just um, weaving the packets and popping in the foils getting close to the roots. So I've just removed the foils and I've just put on some Fenola No More Yellow I'm just going to leave it on for a couple of minutes before washing it off. Right, okay, so what we are going to be doing now, I've sectioned off the hair. As you can see, it's like a um, horseshoe shape. And we are going to take the underneath quite short. So I'm going to be using a clipper with the blade number three on this, okay? So I'm only going to be doing the bottom part quite short. So this bit here. Just the very, very base. Just get rid of that length. Now you wouldn't normally clip a wet hair, but I'm just literally touching the tips at the bottom Just taking off the neck fluff. As well. So now the neck hair has been cut with the clippers we can go in and just cut the remaining piece of hair here so we're just going to take a short graduation so just take a panel at a time and cut into the palm of your hand don't really want to take much of this top length here. I want to kind of keep that the same length because the length on top isn't too bad. It's just the length at the bottom which we would like to reduce. So just keep walking around the head and cutting in to the palm of your hand. This side obviously I've changed my fingers so I'm cutting upwards to make it easier for me to hold the hair. Just cutting it around the ear here. Do to the left, just do to the right. I'm 
I'm just blending it in a little bit at the lower, at the base, because my fingers are too fat to get that low. But you don't want to take that too high because you want to keep it more feminine. So keep that short at the bottom, but not too high. I'm just point cutting this bit here just to blend it in a bit. This bit, this top bit here, I'm just going to pull it out and just cross check it. I'm making sure it's the same length all around. Yeah, I'm just going to lift up this little bit just because there's a bit of a line there. So if I graduate it a bit more, it will move that line. That's a bit better. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to go around to the ears. Comb in the hair towards the ear at the bottom and then cutting it as close to the ear without cutting the ear. And the client wants the hair to sit just on top of the ear. So we're just going to continue that shape all the way around, taking away any length that we don't want. Here we go. I'm just picking it up either side. And she quite likes the length here, so we're just going to Cut it round the front here. Right now I'm going to start to layer. So using the guide at the bottom, just taking off the length and just making sure it blends in with the back as well. Just cross check it the other way. See how it falls. Just double check this top layer, just maybe just point cut into it so you get rid of any harsh line. It was made there. Okay, so what you've done to one side, do to the other now. Comb the hair forward and cut close to the ear. Uh, 
All right, now we're going to layer it. Going forwards. And then we're going to cross check it. Going back. And just check any harsh lines just to blend it through with a bit of point cutting. So the next step is just to check your points, balance check it. Making sure that they are the same both sides. Right, so after that is done, we're gonna move on to the top of the head. Now this doesn't have to blend, it can lay over top. Um, it's entirely up to the client's preference, or you can blend it, or you can have it quite floppy, you can have it quite long, whatever you decide. So I'm gonna keep it quite long, just to blend through the bottom bits to the top bits. Not taking too much off, but I'm just point cutting here because it's quite a choppy look. Right, so pulling that up to the sky and just point cutting the top bits off. Slightly pulling it back as well, makes it longer at the front area. So if you want a bit more length around the fringe, then pull it back to the crown area. If you want it really long, then obviously pull it even further back. But just blending it through in the middle and then at the sides as well. And it's just following the pattern. So I normally start in the middle and then cut to the right, go back to the middle and cut to the left. See, this front bit won't pull too far back, so I'll just pull it a little bit back. Like so. So when I come round the front, it is still very long. And then we need to...
decide which way it's going to go. You like it that way a bit more, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Just seeing how it lays, if there's any overhang. Just to take a little bit more length off. Just point cutting these bits again, just to make them a bit more textured. And then you can drag your blade down the hair to reduce some of the weight. Or just at the tips, if you wanna get rid of any thicker lines. There's a lot more hair this side due to all the hair coming over, so it might be a bit thicker. I'm just taking slices now. All right, do you actually have a part in? No, no just go forward. forward. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that there is the finished article. I'm just going to sweep up a bit, and then we are going to blow dry it. Okay. I'm going to blow dry the hair. Just going to use a round brush if need it. Most of it's going to be finger drying, and then I'll just use some um, light setting lotion spray, which I really like from Wella. It's got a lovely smell, but it also is a good hold without actually having a curl to the hair. So the back bit is mostly gonna be finger dry and then if I need any root lift on the top, I can use the round brush.
So now that the blow dry is done, I'm just going to go back over the haircut and just take away any bits that I don't want anymore. All right, head down for me. So anything you want to change, now's your time to do it. After the haircut's dry, you can kind of see any areas that you want to blend through, maybe a bit more.
it. So all I need to do now is just put on some wax and define it, maybe spray it, and just to finish it off. And I'll show you the finished article in a bit. All right, so I've just got a little bit of wax in my hands. I'm just gonna rub it right in and we're gonna get really messy with the client's hair now, really getting it in the roots. Once it's in the roots and we can style it how we want it and defining areas. Just to make it a little bit more bitty. But it is the products that really help. So without the products, it'd be quite flat. can see if we look around the finished look the colors brightened it up a little bit it's a lot cleaner at the front area where we put a lot more packets so it's quite nice we can just spin around now there we go